So you've just installed DP8, and I'm sure you're real excited to get started, but we need to set up the hardware. So the first thing we're going to do is load up DP8 by double-clicking on DP8 in the Applications folder, and just wait for the plugins to load up. It'll take a second. Now, if you've used DP7, the last session that you loaded may show up here in the open window. We're going to cancel that because we want to set things up. So let's go to Setup, and let's go to Configure Audio System, and then we're going to configure the hardware driver. And now we're currently using the built-in output, and we can select more than one output. I'll do that in a moment. We can select the sample rate, and just a rule of thumb, the higher the sample rate, the better the audio resolution. And we can select the buffer size, and the bigger the buffer size, the more plugins you can run. And this host buffer multiplier is for when you have more than one audio interface working in Digital Performer, which is really cool. Just press Shift, and you can select all the IOs that you want to use. But bear in mind that you will not be able to use the higher sample rates if some of your IOs don't go up there. So for example, my Motu Traveler does 192K, but we're not able to do that now because we have other IOs selected. So just choose what's best for your project and what works and doesn't crash, okay? Another thing to keep in mind is that you need to select a host buffer multiplier. So in this case, we're going to select four because we have a whole bunch of IOs here. Again, try this out. See which one gives you the least amount of clicks and pops. It's not necessary. For example, if you have three IOs to use a host buffer multiplier of three, two might work. One even works as well. Just tweak it and try it out. The algorithm does help in some instances. And now we have our clock modes, and this determines which one of your IOs is going to be your clock. So select the one that works best for you. And finally, we have the work priority setting, and I usually set this to high, but if you wanted to have it so that you could have another program running, let's just say a rewire program, you might want to set it to medium so resources could be allocated to that other rewire program. So there you have it. Here is our hardware setup. Really easy to do, and the guys at DP always give you the most options and the least amount of fuss.